All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome in the Kurt Magush and Slaughterhouse Sports here. And, I mean, this is this is a very interesting uh, recruit uh, outside of Fresno, uh, California. It is Jaden Moore. So, the thing is about Jaden is he's 6'4", 230, a true 4'3", edge rusher. And, I mean, he he flies. He flies on tape. He's physical. He causes fumbles. Uh, You're going to see a lot of just hard hits here. It's such an entertaining um, highlight tape. I just, I just think that again, Tosh Lapoy. I mean, he Tosh Lapoy gets another like California defensive line. He knows all about California football, and when you watch this kid on tape, he really pops. I mean, he has a variety of pass rushing moves, and he's going to the right place with Tosh Lapoy and and Tony T, Tony Toyoti. Um, so it's it's going to be really fun um at at Oregon and and here you see him slide like into the middle so you see him creep up there he goes from what is it like a four technique to like then like a two technique and so basically what he ends up doing here is he just on, on on the on the on the snap of the football he is so agile that's the thing that I really love about like like pass rushers is I want to see a guy that, first of all, he does an unbelievable job of stripping the football, going over the top of his left hand and stripping that football out and causing a turnover. Um, if we go all the way back, though, you watch this, you watch this step. I mean, he is such athletic twitch when the ball is snapped. He's able to get so much... Uh, What's the word? He's able to get a lot of of leverage, and he's able to move side to side. He's able to gain a lot of ground. Um, He's very light on his feet and can change direction, especially when the football is snapped. So he's very tough to just line up and block because he's almost like a slot receiver in that some slot receivers like Kendarius Toney can like change direction very quickly and are very tough to stay in front of. Um, you look at this from, from an offensive lineman's perspective, this guy is very hard to block because he is so twitchy at the line of scrimmage. So his first step is, is really what makes him elite. Then, then his motor is also fantastic. Like he'll chase plays down from, from either side of the field. And that's exactly what you want in a culture building player like Jaden. Okay. You know, you want your defensive lineman chasing plays, being relentless. He, he could fly off the edge. He could drop in coverage um, and just create a lot of havoc. He can be in the, you know, with screen plays. He could back, he could back up and play the screen well. You look at him here, he's going to outrun. Guy, pick up the fumble. Plays with a ton of juice, ton of energy. This entire school here that he plays for has great energy on the sideline throughout. Um, and you look at him there, you see the emotion. He's just an emotional leader, uh, from what you see on the tape, you see him, you see him slide through here again, you know, stays low. The hand usage is excellent. There opens the gate slivers through and finishes the play. And he really finishes with, um, authority. He, um, he, he could really attack and, 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 and again, he, he brings a violent finish when he gets to the quarterback or gets to the ball carrier. All right, here we go. So here you're going to see the example of just like that. This move is just freaking ridiculous here. This stutter move. I mean, I'd love to learn how to coach D line. And I mean, the, the tackle has no chance. He's completely off balance here. So he pretends like, hey, I'm going to rush you. I'm going to rush outside. And then he takes his right. He takes his right foot and he really gets a ton, a ton of leverage on that right foot or a ton of power. He uses that right foot there. See balls of his feet tons of power drives off that right leg okay and is able to cross the tackle's face and then he just converges on that running back and just swallows up the entire backfield in that play looks like he's blocked but again you see the motor that is just 
that is just uncommon. Gets blocked, right? Gets double teamed, blocked, and then he goes and 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 he goes outside and he chases down the play. He plays at full speed, full effort all the time. Full speed, full effort all the time. Just athletic and just makes a lot of lot of game breaking plays. But we described the player that he is. I mean, he first of all, he can be, I mean, you look at who this guy can, can potentially be, Jaden Moore. I mean, he could potentially be I I it's crazy that he's a three star. You know, Tosh Lapoy, you get him in California out of Fresno. I really believe that this player I mean, could be – he has all the potential in the world to be like a double-digit sack guy and an NFL draft guy. All right, he does. And it's going to be interesting in this entire offense, and he's going to, to the right place. So Oregon's defensive line, you have Michael Gardner that I absolutely love as well that also has these quick twitch qualities. Okay, so some of the guys that are five-star players, you know, they show up at camp. They have the longest arms. They're all six. They're all six five six six. So they just have length, okay, and – that the, the, they maybe have a higher ceiling because of arm length and because of height, but in terms of like physicality, in terms of twitch or whatnot, so this this they might sometimes lack in terms of real physicality, um, in terms of an array of pass rush moves at the point of attack. They they usually play like sometimes they play really high, but they'll be four or five stars because they'll look at the potential, potential, potential. Now some of them are are really special. I mean, Keon Keeley is is a guy who's six six that is that special. But sometimes you should just get six three six four. You should just get a guy that's unbelievably twitchy and a guy who's going to chase down so many plays. All right. So uh, again, I and Michael Gardner, I believe the guy from Arizona as well has a lot of has a lot of ability, a lot of quick twitch. And then Oregon also takes a lot of high profile guys that that are maybe going to grow into incredible potential. They they do take some potential guys like the guy from Texas. Um, it might be green. Yeah, green is a guy that I think I think can can um Michael or what is the name? Green. He's going to be a guy that that does have a lot of uh, potential, but I believe that he can even play more physical as he goes forward and can even have an array of uh, pass rush moves. So anyway, that's kind of my review though on uh, Jaden Moore. I think it's definitely one of the one of the best defensive players uh, that Oregon's going to re- you know recruit, and uh, yeah, that is Jaden Moore.